Oof. We've, uh, we've killed all the food poisoning. Really, just being a little warm killed all the food poisoning? Okay, okay, okay. Maybe if it's below... 40, then. Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, episode 13, where we are getting things set up for our natural gas loop, our cycle. Oof, this is very low hydrogen pressure over here, but lots of it all over the place. Got a little bit of slime along here, coming off of the morb. Hydrogen, polluted oxygen, more hydrogen. Good bit of chlorine here, though, which we can flush into this area off of this bleach stone. Actually, we we'll get the same effect here off of this bleach stone. Pretty much have a good amount of chlorine. Now, we do have the chlorine geyser, actually, over here. Which looks like it's capping its area out at 5 kilograms. That's pretty good. And then, of course, we have no hydrogen over here to assist with any of this cooling down. What do we have here? Bisolite. Okay, fair enough. Well, we're letting everybody take care of things. Uh, the food seems to be okay. We're out of slime, so we're not able to fertilize our mushrooms without slime. And the slime is going to require um, more digging down here in a dangerous area. So what do we have? We have people still trying to clear this out because these germs here are just so out of control. Hmm. But if we dig this area up here... See, people are just coming here and cleaning it non-stop. But if we dig this up, this slime won't come through this section. But these are supposed to take care of... Uh, the slime. Well, we could dig out slime here. Let's do that. Let's dig out some of this slime and we'll see how it's stored. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn off slime storage here. And then instead... I'm going to make myself slime storage here. Go ahead and up that to a priority 8. It's like these Weezworts are making it very, very cold down here. 8 degrees, which... It's good to counteract the batteries. The mealwood's okay with it, 13 degrees. Okay, you will be just for slime at a priority 8. Now, let us dig some of this out and see what happens here. Not entirely sure how this is going to go, but we're going to find out. What's making polluted oxygen over here? because it's holding slime. And it's got a ton of germs. Where did you pick up slime that had a ton of germs from? Oh, no. Wash your hands. Wash, wash, wash. Very good, very good. Zero surface germs. I love it. So somehow this thing got a ton of germs, and they're dying in the carbon dioxide. So that's good at least. But if we plant the slime, uh, the slime was supposed to be purified here. So they brought this slime from somewhere. And it still had a bunch of germs. Might have come from over here. I'm not sure. Just 328 grams. Uh... No, it's not over there. Alright. Still disinfecting that one. I don't know what to do. It's leaping off of this one. It's growing and just pushing the germs back onto here. You know what? Let's try to deconstruct these. And then what we'll do is we'll actually we'll run a ladder up here like this. Here, we'll deconstruct this as well. Look at that. And then what we'll do is we'll dig out some of these. And then we'll just brick it back up and we'll see how that works. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how things are going to go. Priority on the dusk caps are a 7. Uh, we're going to have to have that 
We're going to have to have that discussion about resetting all the priorities back to what they should be fairly soon. Okay, and covered in slime lung it is. Now why didn't... Ugh. Why are you not using the ore scrubber? Because the em cause the pipe is empty, but it's it's built up. It's disabled building, auto repair, set direction should be both directions. Okay, it's not working. It didn't work out like I wanted it to, unfortunately. Alright, I'll just go ahead and brick that back up. At least hopefully we can get around maybe having everything disinfected constantly. Oh, we're starting to get some slime lung germs, though. Let's get everybody washed up. Alright, okay, things are working. What did we build this out of? Abyssalite? We're, we're out of abyssalite. Oh, that's... That's a bad thing. Um, we can still get some more here, and we want to break into this area, too. So let's... Let's go ahead and... Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll let the chlorine into this area. Because why not? And we have the bleach stone, which should be putting out chlorine. Oh, look, another. There's yep, a steam geyser. Okay, um, still no natural gas geyser though, is there? Well, that's okay. Uh, we can. There we go. We'll just dig this out, and then. Yep, this out, and then we'll just move the ladder over here. And then dig over here. Perfect, okay. So that will get us the abyss light we need to finish the piping over on the far side. Hopefully we've taken care of our little disinfection issue going on here. Hopefully uh, we've got all this... Mm, all this slime lung just sifting around. Let's make sure this thing's got sand in it. it. Says it does, so it must be working. Oh yeah, it just it only works if the uh, polluted oxygen gets over to it. Well, realistically, then that needs to be here, where the. Ugh, where the slime is producing polluted oxygen. Oh my goodness. That's our issue. Right there. Alright, well then, you're going to have to be a priority 9, and you're going to be deconstructed. We'll take that sand, and we'll move it over there. There we go. Now we just need to keep sand in this, and hopefully this will keep everything squared away. I guess we can also we can always crack these doors open and we'll let some of the uh, carbon dioxide down here and we'll let some of the polluted oxygen out. That is always an option. There we go. Hopefully we'll we'll just take care of all that polluted oxygen for the time being. Hey, finally making our progress here like we do. All right, let's get a look at our power structure here. So we'll go ahead and we'll connect these wires. And these wires here will need a wire bridge. Uh, this, however, is going to need its own thing, unfortunately. I guess we don't really need to do that. We could just do that. Conserve our metal a little bit and not produce wires that aren't needed. Um, but this, uh, this tepidizer, this thing is going to need its own power source. Its own feeding power source. And yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Oh, we're getting that natural gas in there. That's good. Uh, we are going to need another transformer. There's uh, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We're going to need one. So let's go ahead and make one. Let's go ahead and dig that out. 
And then we'll get ourselves a power transformer. Wonderful. Oh, let's use that iron up. Now, I was told, you know, you don't really have to worry about using a heavy watt wire, but we're going to use one anyways, just because. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Nope, no thank you. Okay, let's try that again. We're going to go up, over, up, over, up, and over, right, and then here again. Oh, these wires are going to be such a mess. Guess we could run them right across the top, like this. Yeah. Sure, why not? Ugh, now we've got a random wire right over here. Look at that, just a random wire. Not on my watch. Maybe. Chlorine getting pressurized down there. Not really enough power for that. Now, why aren't we getting... This pump should be powered by... Oh, it's not... It doesn't have enough pressure. Right, we're still generating pressure. Okay. That's fine. And we're getting the wires set up. Once the wires are set up, the tepidizer should be going. Very good. Carbon dioxide... All right, now, I was told that I had messed this fully up, just all the way up in a bunch of ways. And I did, um, because I've got the input going to the... <laughs> I knew you were waiting for me to address this. No, this is a total and utter fiasco. So let's get rid of all of the gas pipes, and we'll start this over again. And I will pay much better attention this time. All right, so this is our natural gas in line. So it needs to come into each of the generators. All right, this is carbon dioxide. And let's see, how can we do this? We can just up like that. There we go, about like that. Hmm. Should I split it? Maybe I should split it. Yeah. Oh, look at that. This will help keep it going one way, right? That should work. Yeah, absolutely, that should work. We'll see. If it doesn't, we'll change it. Um, but we need to get that electricity going. We're real close once we get these wires here done. We'll bump these up to a seven. Oh, I, I really thought about doing the... A uh, little bit of slime lung around in here. Not a whole lot. I had thought about doing the... Um... Sorry, I'm getting distracted. I had thought about doing the na hunting for the natural gas geyser as a priority, but no. I think we'll stick with what we have. What's that all? Iron? That's fine. We'll stick with what we have, because what we have is a system that will start to sustain itself. Uh, but we're going to get all kinds of polluted oxygen up here. Yep, and now we're starting to see slime lung growing up here and all this polluted oxygen. Hmm... Because we have all this polluted water, therein lies the issue. No stress, immune systems are good. Nobody's having to stop here to disinfect this. The dust caps are being fertilized with slime, although the slime is still covered in germs. And exactly, it's being spread to Oh, it's being spread because of the... Son of a gun. This isn't working. Alright. This will be... 
Slime at a seven. Sweep at an eight. Okay. So let's take all the slime where it's cold, and then hopefully that'll take care of the germs. And these down here will just be taken care of, hopefully. Zero surface germs. Okay, so the surface germs don't appear to be going to the actual mushroom. Or not the surface germs, but the slime lung. I think, by and large, we're doing okay. Oh, this is getting really yucky in here, though. It's going to die in the oxygen. We just got to keep the polluted oxygen at bay. That's all. Okay. How are we doing with construction over here? This area looks good. This one, not so much. That's going to be a problem. Let's connect that, please, and thank you. And let's start looking at pressure. How are we doing? Almost up to the kilogram mark. And then we can start looking at food that's going to take actual fertilizer. Uh, unfortunately, dying on solid. Hmm. My concern is, are the dusk caps even worth it since they use slime, and we should be trying to convert as much slime to algae as possible. Now, I know we can get more from the puffs. I mean, in theory, instead of mining stuff up, I just need to come over here and make these reachable. Hmm. But now if the puffs are... Because this is going down, so this slime is actually being reduced. Its mass is reducing as it's becoming polluted oxygen. So if there's no net gain, then do puffs really create slime for you? Or do they just process it into this endless cycle of gas and solid, gas and solid? Hmm. Alright, tell me this thing's about to kick on. It's getting there. How are we looking? Still processing all that water. We've still got a lot of polluted water there. Okay, so one of the things we're going to want to change about this setup is we're going to need a, let's say, a mesh tile there. And then a bottle emptier here. Because this will be the new polluted water emptier. So over here, not so much. Huh. Huh. See, but if all this polluted oxygen is around all this chlorine... Look, the it's like the chlorine is disappearing. It's either that, like, the duplicants are breathing in the chlorine, or... It's just being squeezed out of existence by all this polluted oxygen pressure. I don't know, but now we've got slime lung in the air. That's so not good. We don't really have any here at the... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Really? Oh, they're just a handful of germs. Fertilizer with po food poisoning germs on it? I'm not sure how that happened. Okay, go ahead and deconstruct this building. And I was going to put slime in here, but I think that's just going to exacerbate our polluted oxygen problem. Uh, let's go ahead and say... We're going to assign Kendrith to the Neural Vacillator. There's not too much slime lung in there. Oh, and again, it's got you behind the graphic there a little bit, but we'll see what happens. It's okay. You'll be all right. Hang in there. Oh. You look like your world's being wrecked. Kendrith has seen some things. Complete the process. Deeper Diver's Lungs trait. Duplicant was a talented opera singer and a snorkeling instructor. Air consumption rate, minus 50 grams a second. Sweet, Kendrith. Excellent. Way to not need that air. The Super Diver's Lungs. What's going on here with this awkward graphic? 
That's awful awkward. All right, we're going to change this now to say if it's above 700, let's start sorting it. Let's do it. All right. How do we not have the power? Both people running on hamster wheels should cover most of it. No, I guess not. Oh, 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 natural gas is going. Ugh, that one block is just getting out of control. All right, well, then there's an easy solution for this. We'll simply destroy those pipes. Now is this working? Power is in. Now everything is getting electricity. There we are. Look at that. There we go. All right, now we'll say if above a thousand. Let everything get up to a thousand. Now why aren't those working? That's a thousand and it takes 960. You need a battery. That's what you need. Okay. Most of the batteries I have in here. But that's all just temporary. Ideally, wouldn't the batteries go up here? Let's try this. So we'll say these will be airflow tiles. And then we'll dig these out here. And then all we have to do is run a little wire like this up over to the thing. All right, if, uh, so activate if temperature is below 70 C. Oof, yep, and that was all the energy that was there. Done, all the transformers are done. Okay, so we've got to kick this on. If above 500, go ahead and deliver the power. We're about to start this runaway chain reaction. It's going to be grand. Looks like we got the, almost the last bit of chlorine out of there. Hey, we're getting larger packets of natural gas. That's always good. All right, let's go ahead and make it above a grand uh, one kilogram again. There we go, that natural gas is doing its job. Very good, and it looks like we've got the... Right, polluted water is coming out. It should have no germs in it, right? Yeah, polluted water, no germs. Because it just gets dropped right back into here. Oh, keep running that natural gas. It's about to hit its kilogram mark all by itself, which is what we wanted. What is this? No gas output. How do you have no gas output? But you do have gas output. Oh, 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 this. Oh, the, the stuff that isn't chlorine, natural gas, carbon dioxide doesn't have a gas output. That's fine. We're not going to have to worry about any of that other stuff here before too long. Um, and what we do have is the need for some oxygen. But we need these to be running pretty much nonstop. Oh, and look at all this polluted oxygen up here. How are you, how are you supposed to manage all this polluted oxygen? without it just becoming Slime Lung City. And why do we have so many people idle? Is there really no work for anyone to do? I find that hard to believe. Are these not reachable? How is that not reachable? Oh, that door is locked. Oh, that door is locked. Right, well then, let's open it up. All right, everybody. Let's sweep it all up and see where it goes. Now over here, uh, we're still dealing with a lot of slime lung, and it's multiplying. This is going to start... Uh... 
I don't know what else to do with this. The slime that's being used to fertilize these is putting... Well, it's going to just expand. It's it's this, The slime lung is multiplying in the slime. Oh no! No, Alcarin! Okay, we've we've got to get you out of there. Let's let's do it. No. There you go. Now these should all be stored down here, which has a ton of germs, but they should all be dying incredibly quickly, and they are. Good deal. The problem is everybody's getting a ton of germs all over them. Mm. We've almost got this thing on a feedback loop. We could start trying to get some hydrogen going. That might... Uh... Well, we can at least get the wiring set up. Right? Right. So let's, let's get our wiring set up. There we go. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't like that. Instead... We'll do a wire bridge here, and then we'll get rid of all of that gobbledygook. Um, wires, please. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. Hmm. Now, where might these natural gas geysers be? Could keep going up this way. In fact, I think that's a smart play. I don't want to languish and get distracted doing any one particular thing. I want to continue to explore and push outward as much as possible. So we'll keep exploring in that direction. We've about gone full travel over here to the right. It could possibly be over there. And then, of course, we'll need to explore. There's a huge section down here we'll need to explore. Hmm. Two steam geysers and a chlorine geyser. No natural gas. None at all. And this building is missing a foundation. And nobody's coming out here to take care of it anyways. There are little bits of oxygen, pockets of it here and there. But by and large, this is just a huge CO2 trap. Is all that is. Um, I think what we'll do, though, is we'll add a ladder here. That way, if anybody does need to come up where there is oxygen floating above the uh, carbon dioxide, they can do that easy enough. Now, this should be one kilogram on the dot. And it's sending 500 grams of natural gas. It's pretty good. How much can it hold, though, is the question. Hmm, zero. Well, it's likely that it... I'm pretty sure it can hold more than 50 grams. Or, or more, more than... Oh, wait. 10 kilograms of polluted... Oh, it's polluted water. 500 grams of natural gas. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure one pump can deliver more than 500 grams. I would think so. But that'll just mean that the gas will be able to combine at a later date. Fertilizer makers are just running non-stop. We're getting a lot of fertilizer starting to build up. Oh, um, look, there's our little hatch. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and open your door. Let's let's try to get you back over there again. Food. Food seems to be going down. Let's look at the germs again. Still climbing on the slime. I don't know. I don't like that. I'm already starting to dislike mushrooms. Big time disliking those mushrooms. This is going to take a little bit of time for everything to get cold enough for the germs to die. So I want the compactor itself. Yeah, most things are still get still being cooled off. Yeah, it's very cold. Should be fine. Ah. Long term, would really love a natural gas geyser. Ah, oh, we've got all this polluted oxygen with slime lung now. 
I, I, I really, really, really don't like that. Um, this is going to be... Oh, no, not this again. Alright. Let's see if we can get it fixed now. Maybe now they can do the wire. No, it happened again. Okay, deconstruct the building block. This is that uh, glitch that Gigi was talking about. So we're going to do sweep only polluted water at an 8. Or, no, you know what? Not sweep only, just any polluted water needs to come down here. I'm starting to get the water pretty warm. It's starting to kill the germs. Temperature range, minus 25 to 75. Well, then we got to get it pretty hot, so might as well get started. It's going to take a lot of power generation. Oh, it's struggling. No, it's not able to keep up. I wonder if we need a second battery. Uh, what am I doing with these little batteries? Uh, why do I even mess around with those? No, so we'll move it over here, and then we'll extend the wire like this. We'll try to give it a little bit more juice. Try to get this water heated up. below six. Okay, so that pump will not turn on. That's good. We don't need it to right now. We're trying to get rid of this polluted water, actually. So we almost need more fertilizer makers. That's what it seems like, anyways. Hey, we're getting the dusk cap. Harvest. So then the truth becomes... Dusk cap germs? No. So it won't Oh, that one's got 52 germs on it. People are going to be eating stuff that's covered in slime lung. Mm, I don't know how I feel about all that. Slime is still taking its time to die from the cold. How are you guys delivering stuff here? These are all priority one. Oh, you really have that little to do? Did we already... No. So we haven't explored up here yet. Let's go down then. Let's explore down. We've got a good bit of down progress over in this direction. Right, so what we can do... So we can go ahead and dig out... This way. I want to be a little closer... To these wheeze worts. And then we'll just dig straight down like that... So then here we'll do uh, we'll do some mesh tiles. There we go. That way, if anything melts, it'll uh, it'll wash down there. Okay. Well, now there's starting to be less and less reasons for people to be idle. Go ahead and empty both of those. A lot of puffs. A lot of puffs. Yeah. Look, they've made a vacuum over here. That's tough. That's real tough. I don't want to use... I've pretty much decided I don't want to use the slime for these dust caps anymore. Um, I think we're just going to uproot. And... I guess we'll just make that at a 7. We'll just copy these settings like that. We'll just uproot them all. I think that has to be the case. Alright, let's see. Is anyone hurt or sick? Uh, Kendrith and GG. Uh, well, let's sort by health. Kendrith and Alcarin could use a little bit of time here. Plants have died. Dust cap. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm aware. Immune system. Oh, people's immune systems are getting hurt. Craig Bishop. How are you doing? Germs. Slime lung. Follow you, please. Mm, so they're being whittled down. 
currently fighting a slime lung infection. All right, let's start putting people. Let's start getting people out of this. Um, so, Craig Bishop, you'll go and you'll get treated. And next, we'll need. Let's see, who else has an immune system that is struggling? Oof, rambunctious Ricky. That's not going to work. All right, we'll get you assigned to a bed as well. Now, I did some looking at the new uh, Oxygen Not Included content that's going to be coming out. Looked pretty exciting, the new biome and everything. I thought about opening up the beta uh, branch to try it out, but then I thought, no, we've only just got started, and I haven't got a chance to try my major filtration system with the open-air electrolyzers and everything else. Um, so I'd like to at least get to that. So I might, in fact, be increasing the amount of Oxygen Not Included videos that I put out in order to hopefully attempt to keep up with the rapid pace of oh, that's too darn cold to keep up with the rapid pace of new content that is coming out you know what we're gonna need so we're gonna need a way to bottle all of this polluted water All right, we'll do that. So we're going to bottle all of this food poisoning but water. We're going to auto-bottle it, and we're just going to send it here to get heated up. Oof. We've, uh, we've killed all the food poisoning. Really, just being a little warm killed all the food poisoning? Okay, okay, okay. Maybe if it's below 40, then. It doesn't even register food poisoning germs in here right now. It's got slime lung on it. Let's see what happens, because this is going to put more food poisoning germs in the water. So it almost seems like once... Okay, so the problem that, as I see it, is that you can't have two germs in the same place at the same time. Well, you can here. So on the ladder, you have slime lung. On the water, you have food poisoning. But if there's slime lung in the water, even though it can't live there for long periods of time, it doesn't look like there's any room for the food poisoning germs to enter the water because they're dealing with slime lung. Which is very, very interesting. The long story short is, I don't know if this fertilizer generation is going to be enough to keep everything going. In fact, I know that it can't. Um, actually, what we should do is we should disconnect this pipe and this pipe and just let one run non-stop. That's running fine. We're going to need some more water added over here eventually. What is that? That seems important. Let's go ahead and deconstruct that block so we can hop down in there and build that. Still eating all that meal ice. We've got a lot from our mushroom harvest. We've got a lot from the meal ice as well. Batteries and heat just cooking up here. Meanwhile, the whole bottom is starting to become really, really, really cold. Um, let's get rid of you, and then we'll get rid of you. And then we'll go ahead and we'll put this mesh tile back, actually. Look at that. Alright, so we've got natural gas building up in here. It should be fairly easy for that natural gas to back up here at this machine. Yes, indeed it is, which is exactly what we want. Wait, 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 what's going on? Wire disconnected. No, no, no. It's because of the atmospheric switch. The carbon dioxide here is 2,000 grams. Activate if above 1,000 grams. Right. Um, no power, no power. How do you not have any power? Uh, 
Huh. It's interesting. We've got water coming in, dirty water going out. I verified it was working earlier. We're incredibly overpressurized here with carbon dioxide. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Hmm. Other than the fact that we're running off the main wire, but that's that's just for now. That shouldn't be a big deal. So what is the problem? It says no power. Because this can't pump because that's full up. So then what we need is a little jump start. Okay. We're gonna need we're gonna need something like that, like a manual uh oh, but this that's cause this was this was configured wrong. We weren't able to use the power that we were generating while we were generating power in order to remove the carbon dioxide to continue generating the power. It's kind of a horrible feedback loop. Insufficient material waiting for water. Uh, should be water here. Yeah, liquid water available. That's perfectly fine. Actually, it looks like a lot of the carbon dioxide is going away as well. What sorcery is this? This bubble of carbon dioxide was huge. No, okay. Uh, disable this building and disable this building, please. I don't want those running anymore. I do want this running, though. Somebody needs to hop over here in this wheel, like, now. Like, right now. Like, right now. No. Okay, but what we are going to do is we are going to run a battery here. So that we can... Are you having to hold your breath down here, Shark Walker? I think you are. Okay, alright, well that should be helping. That'll help... Ugh, some. No, this battery should have been a priority because... Yeah, because that battery, it needs to store everything. Um... None of this stuff can go if it's... Oh, that's where the carbon dioxide's going. But of course it is. It's being piped out. Well, we're going to need a way to control that. So let's give ourselves an atmospheric switch. Uh, see, I would like to put it... Eh, we'll put it right here. That's fine. Let's go ahead and put an atmospheric switch there. Are these going to run? They're trying to. Alcarin! Can you not... <gasps> okay. Dig. Everyone dig. Free Alcarin. Oh, Alcarin's going to free himself. Hey, good job. No! Alcarin's still suffocating. Okay, good. Not anymore. Oh, oh, don't. Don't do don't don't do that to me. Low immunity. Craig, Bishop, and Gigi. Oh my. Okay. Um let's see. Craig Bishop, you need to be taken care of right now. Ooh what? No. Um Craig Bishop. Err what? Why? What is going on? Hmm. Craig. 7% immune system. Okay, I don't know what's going on. We're locking this door. Obviously, people are going out and getting all kinds of slime lung on them. Urgh, can't have that. It's going to start spreading around the base. The base looks to be pretty clean, though. Urgh, except that. Oh, the clay is slowly losing germs. This water is warm enough. Uh, I feel like we're doing good, but this is what I feared. I don't want to start losing people to sickness. Um, jobs. Let's make sure everything's good with Craig Bishop. You are... Will not perform aid tasks. Art. 
Okay, so who do we have for to perform aid? Alcarin, Hopeless Soul, GG. All right, Alcarin, you're going to have to do nothing but aid, right? So now let's send GG. And here, no, 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 GG's there. So here we'll send GG, and then here we'll send Craig Bishop. And Alcarin should come over to take care of them. Now, now what, what is going on, Craig Bishop? What are you trying to do? Well, you're going to go lock the door? No, I don't want you to lock the door. What, what is going on here? Please, just go... No, no, no. Just go get in your bed. Are you kidding me? Well, you're not going to make it, my friend. You're not going to make it at all. Now that Alcarin's in the room... No, did you guys really lock them down there? Open that door. We're crying out loud. Now let's see if we can get Craig Bishop to come back to bed now. Hopefully this will be fixed when I log out and log back in. So I don't know what's causing it. See, look, something, uh, something's going on. Well, that's where we're going to wrap things up. Um, oh, Alcarin, too? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I was looking at stress. Ah, I was like, everybody's single digits. Oh, I freaked out. Oh, I freaked out. Okay, but that is where we're going to wrap things up. And hopefully a relog will straighten out Craig Bishop. If it's something I did wrong, please uh, let me know in the comments down below. Everyone's always so helpful with the advice. I generally like to think I could figure it out, but I have no clue what's going on um, with that. So that being said, hopefully we'll have uh, nonstop power next episode, and also hopefully um, this has to have a gas output. And hopefully uh, also we'll be able to get to where we can... Oh, oh, hold on. We're just going to trick it for now. And hopefully we'll be able to get to where uh, we can put in some electrolyzers and stop using our algae, which is down to 2,000 kilograms. So things are really coming to a head here. We have low immunity, low algae. Mm. This has been Oxygen Not Included, episode 13. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had a good time watching because, as always, I've had a good time playing. So please come back next time as we continue to tread water here. And I have a feeling 2% immunity. Oh, Craig. Craig, please, please go lay down in your bed. Now, I know this one's good. I watched Gigi sit down in it. We'll see what happens if Craig can sit in the bed or not. But until next time, oh, take care. <laughs>